and ruthless Godfather. Today, with the power of God on our side and our shared determination no. to change the situation that we consider unacceptable, no. we began the journey of mobilizing, of strategizing, and inspiring the people to believe and to accept that if something is wrong, time cannot make it right. With the support of God and guidance of God, today we are here as free people to participate in this very in ceremony. Only God in his divine power could have helped us to defeat those forces of darkness so that this light can prevail and shine as it is shining this afternoon. So I ask you to join me to give thanks to Almighty God for all his mercy and for all he has done, not only for me, not only for ACN, indeed for the good people of Edo State and for Nigeria. It is important before I make further statement that we acknowledge the fact that this journey was not without its own challenges. On July 14, it was reported, and I have since confirmed that it was true, that some of our very beautiful INEC officials and even some policemen died in the course of carrying election material to some part of a state. It was the result of a natural accident. We ask God Almighty to forgive them their sins and to grant them eternal peace. And for me, I remain indebted to their sense of duty and we will never forget that they paid the supreme price so that today may be possible. On this occasion, I want to remember and appreciate one man who left a very prestigious position in Abuja to join me to come to a do state to constantly remind me of the promise, of the vision, of all that we had committed ourselves to doing, so that at the end of the day, I will not depart from those lofty ideas that had fired our vision and mission in Edo State. Today is not here because some cowards decided to sneak life out of him. I am talking of a man I called my son, my unhappy brother, my unhappy comrade, comrade Olaito Oyeridi. The assassins may have done their worst. But I am committed that the light of blood shall not flow for nothing. And those who kill him must be brought to justice. And I send a message to the Nigeria police that they have no alternative but to find the killers of the light of. If they do not, they will know no peace. And I have the capacity to continue to arrest them. And President Gunnar Jonathan must insist that the Nigerian police must brought the killers of the light to justice. We will sustain this fight, not because of him, because he's gone. We will sustain the fight because of the rest of us who are living, so that never again should the police conspire to shoot those who kill and parade innocent people like they did with David Ngoni. We must trouble them, we must arrest them until they submit to the logic of their uniform. He is not here, but the spirit is here with us. I also want to appreciate the supreme sacrifice paid by those